welcome to life is spiritual presents the erica documentary can you believe it this is part 15 glory to god we say ebenezer my name is tim simon also known as bamboo and i'm here with my beautiful wife erica, erica yes Kimani, aka Mama Maisha, oh, Mama Zion. and i'm baba zion and this is the 15th episode of the Erica documentary. Yes, and, glory to God. And we thank God we have been going in. For those of you who are just joining us, please start at the beginning so that things can make more sense. However, those of us who have been here since the first one, uh, things are become, are going to be more and more clear. Mm. Amen. And then also, there is some information that we do not mention in the documentary, but you can still find it in the books. So yeah. if you find that you have some questions, you can also get yourself all our books. You read them and then understand what we are talking about. Life is spiritual and you need this knowledge. Um, you, you know, you need to, to know the truth. The Bible says you will know the truth and the truth shall set you free. Yes. So once again, we are here to expose the enemy. Mm. Yeah. And the reason why we do this is because the word of God says to have nothing to do with the unfruitful works of darkness, but rather expose them. Yeah. And Jesus was very clear. He said, the world does not hate you, but me it hates mm. because I testify of them mm. that the works thereof are evil. So what Jesus does is that he testifies of the evil workings of this world. Mm. He exposes the wickedness mm. and then compares it to righteousness and asks people to decide, do you want wickedness or do you want righteousness? righteousness that's yeah. why he asks, uh, that's why he says, you know, choose between life and death, between blessing or cursing. And then he tells you, choose blessing choose life that you and your children may live. If, yeah. He makes the examination so easy. Hallelujah. But uh, yeah, and then I uh, just want you to know, I'm not going to mention some names because these are people in high places. Not that I'm scared, but I have to use wisdom. John the Baptist had information about the king, but the way he delivered the message um, ended up making him get beheaded. And my children are so young. I can tell you they are so young and they are so precious. I don't want to deny them uh, the right to, to be raised by their mother. These people are influential. They are leaders, some are rulers of certain countries in certain governments, and I cannot risk mentioning them because I don't I don't even own a gun. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I, I don't even know how to fight. But God fights for me and I will use wisdom and the Holy Spirit will help you to know the people that I'm talking about. Amen. So with that being said, let's start with a word of prayer and then let's get into this. Yes. Mighty glorious Father, we honor you, hallowed to be reverenced and to be held in the highest esteem is your name. We are brought together before you, mighty Father, that we may continue the work which you have given us to do. We pray, mighty Father, that your Holy Spirit may have the preeminence here, that Jesus may be glorified, that the enemy may be exposed, stripped naked and his head crushed, and that the body of Christ may be filled with wisdom and knowledge and faith and inspired to push on until the end. We pray, mighty Father, that everyone under the sound of my voice may be covered by the blood of Jesus, spirit, soul, and body. We pray, Lord, that that which you want revealed may be revealed and that which you want concealed may be concealed and that which the enemy is petrified of being exposed, may be exposed. Yes, Lord. We pray, mighty Father, that your children may be wise beyond their years and understand that the world they live in has been carefully crafted by a very sinister and pernicious enemy, but he is defeated because Jesus defeated him 2,000 years ago on the cross of Calvary and when you raised him from the dead by your glorious power, and now he is seated on the right hand of power. And it is by that power we are able to expose the enemy continuously. And we pray, mighty Father, that your children may be endued with power and knowledge and wisdom from on high and finish well. In Jesus' precious holy name we pray. And the Amen. church said, Amen. Amen. Yes, in the last documentary, I mentioned a lady by the names of Claudia. 
for some reason it's not her real name yes. but as i explained i have to use wisdom and this information has to get out now claudia her second name the real name is muhammad and she was a muslim so um when i joined secondary this girl was in um senior three, so she was a class higher than me so she welcomed me and uh, she shared with me her story of how she was initiated by her uncle her uncle is a very big businessman he owns hotels in mombasa in the in the previous documentaries if you've listened to me i've been telling you about to watch out for hotels that start with the name grand something and uh hotels that are big on on names that identify with square like uh Shape. shapes and and uh, like s- something triangle or something like like that because you know they have numbers they have signs and symbolism you know as mm-hmm. we've been explaining so if you want to know the source or the altar that is uh empowering a certain business pay close attention to the symbols the signs and symbols the numbers and the numbers yeah so her uncle has powerful hotels in Mombasa in that man to get that wealth he sacrificed uh Claudia to the marine kingdom uh to a man who is not 100% human he's a mixture is hybrid and there are people like that they are existing and they are living among us and those are the people even if you preach the gospel they will never give their lives to Jesus everybody will get saved apart from them because they are not 100% human they hate god they hate the they discussion hate god. of god they, they are working for their about. father the devil they know who their father is so now uh this claudia felt free to open up to me because we had similar experiences i had been betrayed by my grandmother and my relatives and she had also been betrayed by her uncle so we shared the same pain and uh she decided to help me because i was new to satanism like uh, uh, uh my soul uh, which is which was camouflaged as a uh, uh, traditional african culture yes yeah. my my soul had been caged remember at 11 and i'm meeting this girl when i'm 12 so she had been in the marine kingdom business for a longer time than me because she had been given to that man when she's 10 so interesting that her people were muslim and then your grandmother was catholic, catholic and catholicism just goes perfectly with witchcraft because it's universal catholic means universal the, the, all the, all encompassing every religion can be catholic anybody of any religion even if you practice you do voodoo you can still be catholic the enemy is not afraid of religion mm. the enemy is afraid of the truth Yes. and the truth is only in Jesus uh-huh. in Jesus Christ so anything you can come up with any religion satan will not disturb you in fact he will empower you to start that cult as long as it's against Jesus because their mission is one the body of Christ and, and the children of of God the children of God are those that have accepted Jesus into their lives to to be their personal lord and savior those are the people that they are gunning Uh, but these other religions anybody can join any religion and satan will not be bothered so uh now meeting this this uh, girl she opens up to me she tells me about the children she has also bo- uh, uh, given birth to for the marine kingdom hybrid children and how she goes to the ocean in uh, in mombasa she goes to the ocean to breastfeed her children i hope, and, I, I, hope i hope people know that it's possible uh to have hybrid children if you read Genesis chapter 6 from verse 1 when men began to multiply on the face of the earth daughters were born unto them that the that the benai elohim or the fallen angels saw the daughters of men that they were fair and they took them wives of all which they chose and verse 4 says they were giants in the earth in those days and also after that when those benai elohim came in unto the daughters of men and they bare children the same became mighty men which were of old the men of renown they were hybrids yes. so it and, started uh, way back in genesis this is nothing new about giants we are not only talking about size you can be an academic giant yes you can be a financial a giant a wizard 
Yeah, you, you see, you see, BlackRock. Giant. BlackRock is a financial giant. Yes, led by Larry Fink. Yes, they have ten trillion dollars under their under on their table, manage under management. Yeah. So that girl was so good with sciences. She would even teach the teachers. She knew everything in the laboratory, anything to do with chemistry, physics. Mm-hmm. She was so big, like. It's, it's, you cannot explain. The teacher introduces a topic, but she's way ahead of the teacher. Mm-hmm. Even if she does not attend classes, she's always going to be number one. It's like they have a demonic intelligence. Yes. Yeah. So she was only in school to get documents. Not because she needed to add some information to herself, but the system requires that we have documents. And then also the, the other reason for being in school is to recruit and and and, and uh, I'm going to tell you some of her businesses and why she was going to schools. So um when now she opened up to me, I found a friend like you can find a brother in Christ or a sister in Christ me. I found a friend in Satan. Yeah. <laughs> friend. <laughs> yeah, let me put it that way. I don't know how to explain. A friend in darkness. Yes, a friend in darkness. And we started encouraging ourselves in darkness, each other in darkness. And we became more evil because now I was evil, but this one was wicked. And now she's taking me deeper, uh, introducing me to things I had no idea about. Remember, I'm coming from a Christian family. My parents protected me from most of the things that I saw when I was on my own. Yeah, so now meeting this girl introduced me to a certain class of people. I started by telling you that beware of the Rotary Clubs. Like, Rotary Club. Yes, Interact and, and all those groups. I joined. She helped the me Lion, join. The Lions Club. Yeah, the Lions Club. Yes. We used to... We used, country clubs. Yes, we used to go to a certain Triangle Hotel and, and meet with the members of the Lions Club. Mm-hmm. And then you get to know each other and later later on when you join them they support you in every in every way like financially and economically or politically because they want to position themselves and i can assure you most of the people that are on the higher end like in the offices big offices like i'm not talking about your your small business that you've started and you're the you're the, uh, the boss <laughs> no i'm talking about positioning in high places where everybody where the system is surrounded mm, like, like secretary general of the u.n yes um, uh-huh. Uh-huh, like yeah. high levels of red cross um, mm. yeah. security Mm. intelligence world health organization chairman uh-huh. yes yeah uh, world economic forum chairman yes directors yes uh-huh. uh, w- maybe you're the head of reproductive health mm. those big positions that everybody needs even whether christian or not christian mm. maybe you're the judge of the nation the mm. biggest judge those uh-huh. people supreme court supreme, judges uh, yes okay. yeah so those people there don't just go there by chance and by their academic uh, status. Yes, there are people who are more brilliant than them academically. But didn't make it. They didn't make it. They are selling things at the side of the road. Mm-hmm. But these we ones... Saw, we saw how Kamala Harris uh, was in the Delta, Delta Phi Delta or something like that, some uh, Greek sorority in, in university. And now she rose up the ranks. She's vice president. Yes. And when she came to Africa, she's pushing the LGBTQ yes. agenda. So yeah. yeah, nobody just rises. So you That's start right. by being a member slowly then when they when you build their trust and they see your energy and capabilities then they take you deeper and they start revealing after you have uh, sworn an oath they start now revealing who they are and what they want you to stand for before they give you a position in the area that you're good at. Remember, the enemy does not give gifts, he does not give knowledge, he does not give talent, but he steals what God has given somebody and then he uses it for the opposite. Like God has given you that talent, that skill, that gift to empower people, to help people, to save lives. So what the enemy does when he gets it, he uses it to destroy people, to destroy lives, to do the opposite of what God has created you to to be. So now when I meet these people, I was shocked because these are mayors, city mayors, the Lord mayors are meeting, hey, vice presidents, 
a meeting. I'm not going to mention names because of uh yeah, I can okay. I don't even have a bodyguard. That's okay. Yeah, so um I'm meeting with her. Hey, this is this this is a very big guy. This is one of the richest guys in the city. So I'm meeting this people and I'm all excited, you know. And uh me getting out of the school was very easy, as I had explained. I just walk and the security guy is seeing a cut, but me I'm 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 normal, I'm not changing, but I would put a spell. Uh, that same lady, Claudia, also would do the same. She would just walk and nobody would stop her. So for us, we would walk in and out of school at any time, at will. So uh, we would go for these meetings. Now, she told me about her husband. And I was afraid to meet the husband because of the first encounter I had with the musician. So I knew that maybe if I meet her husband, it's going to take me again to another level of bondage maybe i will never return because even there i was bound but in my i had hope that maybe one day something can happen and i escape you know i was taken against my will oh, so from all of this darkness yes wanted to get out. i wanted to get out i was not I, I was i was a child like i was not created for that i i naturally don't want to see anybody hurting mm -hmm. i don't want to see anybody like even i cannot quarrel if somebody offends me or they accuse me of something it's difficult for me to deny like to oh no i didn't do it and when a person's voice is stronger than mine mm -hmm. i just go down and cry sometimes so I'm, I'm in a situation i was in a situation that i found myself in but i didn't want to be there and i believe that's why god had mercy on me he, he would see my heart's desire and he granted it so now one day he said okay she had suggested that i meet her husband for a long time and i said no I don't want to meet your but husband. That would mean more covenants. More covenants, more bondage, more. But I would always open up to her and tell her my challenges, the pains. My grandmother was sending witchcraft to also kill me. So this uh, Claudia girl would also give me uh, herbs to protect myself from my grandmother's witchcraft. And my grandmother would find things backfiring because her, she's coming from a bigger altar than my grandmother. Oh. Yes, and she's directly connected to the marine kingdom than my grandma. So she, so Claudia was higher than your grandma. Yes, she was higher. And then this she was a, married to to the marine of, kingdom. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she would give me lotions to apply as I sleep to protect myself from harm. Like when you at night when you're going to bed, she gives you that lotion. Any any arrow they send to you to will not get you. Should give me uh, sprays to spray myself to send away bad uh, energies that are trying to come to me, things like that. So now she decided when she saw that I was so determined not to meet her man, she said, okay, she respected that. And now she decided to take me to a certain uh, Masonic lodge. Mm -hmm. That lodge is in Jinja. And I did not know that I was going to a satanic uh, Masonic lounge until I entered the lounge. But this is what I saw. When I was uh, entering... The outside looked like the what? The outside looked like... Uh, there was a signpost. The Latter-day Glory Saints Church. Then mm -hmm. as we enter inside, I see a stone. The stone is... Uh, on, on, the, on, the, on, the, on that stone, there is a compass and square... And there is um, Jehovah's Witness, the word Jehovah's Witness, but a compass and a square. Then I could see clearly there's a basketball coach where people are playing basketball. And then I'm seeing there is a chapel. So we were taken to the reception. Then from the reception, we were escorted into the office. So uh, they asked us what drinks they would offer us. And Claudia told them that this one does not eat any normal thing. She just wants hard drinks. Because from the time I was initiated, they would give me hard drinks. Hard drinks like what? Either it's wine, alcohol, or tea with so much tea leaves, or coffee, but not small amount. Strong. Strong. Coffee. I wanted bitter things. Yes. So now... We enter, I didn't know that there is a certain coffee you can take and then you become high. <laughs> yeah, so they give us coffee in small cups. 
I look at the cup. And so probably coffee with booze in it. Yes. So I look at the cup and I look at Claudia and I laugh. I say, like, seriously? They, they, they saw that we deserve this? No, she said, no, just drink and then they will add you. But you don't have to drink all of it. You know, me, I'm drinking slowly, drink small, small. I said, no, me, I'm going to drink it because I'm hungry, you know. So I drank. I told you I, when that snake would enter me, I would have appetite. Like I would eat not for a normal person to, to satisfy the spirit in me. So they gave me that small drink. I put it out in a second and they added so she said please don't add her the, the third time because she doesn't know that this this uh, coffee can make a person high i said really i had already drank half of the second one mm -hmm. i said it makes somebody high how mm -hmm. you know for some reason i became happy i didn't know why i was happy when i entered there i was uh, skeptical But now I'm so happy. I'm greeting everybody before they greet me. I'm so excited. I'm so hyped up. <laughs> I, 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 I'm very happy to meet everybody, even the people I don't know. And that is not me. I'm, uh, when I'm going to make a friend, I take my time. But this time around, it was not the case. I, I, something had tampered with my emo emotions. Like I don't know how I was so excited. So now, once that happened... They said, now it's time to take her to the lodge. So I thought we were going to get out of the office and then we go to the lodge. The lodge? Yeah, the, the satanic lodge, yes. So they they pressed some digits. They opened, it's like a, you may think it's a shelf for books. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so they opened, he just put something small and then he pressed in some digits. I was 13. I was born in 1991. So if you can calculate, you you will know the year. You see? So they It's about 2004. Yeah, 2004 there. Yeah. So they pressed the, the digits and then a door op that, that that I didn't know that that shelf was a door and the church members don't know. They think it's just a shelf. So it opened and what I saw was a compass and a square. The, the satanic symbol at the, at the, as you're entering the lodge. On the floor? On the oh. floor, okay. yes. So we started now going down in the basement. Oh, you started going downstairs. There were yes, stairs. Yes, there were stairs after you opened that door. Now, these church members did not know that in their church, there is a basement. <sighs> they had no idea. And what shocked me is when, when, we, when we got to the basement... I saw a big symbol on the floor in that hall. It was a big symbol still of a compass. It's a circle. And inside the circle, there was a compass and a square. Inside the circle. And in front, there was a very big King James Bible. Hmm. You ask what the Bible is doing there. That's the same question I had. What is the Bible doing here? You know? And uh, on the side of the circles, I saw beds baby cribs, small beds, but they are not uh, put, they did not put protection. Eh? They have not put protection, but the beds who are ranging from a child of zero age, the child who has just been born to, to 12 years of age, they can fit and they arrange them in order. So now I realize even in that basement, There's a place where they cage babies. There's a place where they cage children. And they are working with some hospitals. And these hospitals provide those babies. You know, people who give birth and they throw their children. They leave their children there. People whose children are stolen. All sorts of things. And the other thing I noticed is these people are guarded by people in high places. You go to report, you'll be the one to be arrested. And then when you are arrested, they find a way of getting rid of you because you know too much. And they don't want to be exposed. That's why I started by saying, I'm not mentioning any names. So entering there, what I saw was horrible. But because of the coffee, I was high. I was just laughing. The other thing I noticed is when they are performing the rituals on, this, on these children, defiling them, sodomizing them, molesting and doing all sorts of abominations. 
the children are also laughing like me because they are dragged. Even when they are killing, they kill a baby and the baby is laughing. To, to, they do it to you not know, to feel guilty about what they are doing, to make their work simpler or oh. easier. So while they're doing the abusing, the child is actually intoxicated. Yes, and they are laughing. And there are doctors involved. High professional level doctors. And Practicing physicians. Yes. Okay, so that the, the incisions are made correctly. Yes. And uh, the other thing I noticed during that, uh, because I, I did not go there once. I'm just summarizing. I'm just telling you because if I go into details, then we won't, uh, I, uh, two hours won't be enough for me to say everything that I saw. You went there on more than one occasion. Yes, but the first time I went laughing and second time I would still, to be in that place, you need the help of this drink because of the amount of evil. Ah. You have to drink and be hyped to be able to stand all the evil that I saw. You have to be high. In your normal, a normal human being cannot stand that amount of wickedness. Wow. So it's a room. It's underground. It's be just below a Jehovah's Witness church. church. Imagine they, then, they are worshiping here, but downstairs in the basement, they're doing children are being children are being molested. Children are being cut. They are taking their internal organs, harvesting the organs. I'm going to tell you why they keep harvesting the organs and all that. And the doctors are taking them and storing them. You see? So there is so much evil, but the church members don't know. All they can see is the reception, the office, the pastor's office, the church. They are playing basketball, but they don't know that under, in the basement, they are playing basketball here, but a child is being killed. And should they find out or should they realize, should the evil men there realize that somebody there knows that person can disappear? They kill. And how, does, how, did, how did this room look when you entered in? It was a rectangular room, square room, circular? It's a hall. It's a hall. A big hall. Big. Where the mes members of the Masonic cult gather to perform rituals. Okay. Every month, once. And it's not only there, they have many branches. And... According to what they told me, they are being funded. They have their headquarters in America and in Australia. So they fund all the other Masonic uh, lo uh, lodges, lodges all over the world. There is a lot of money involved. In fact, this girl had gone to pick her check because I explained to you that she would encourage in school, she would encourage children to get boyfriends and all that. And when they get boyfriends and they get pregnant, remember they are young. They cannot understand how to protect themselves from pregnancy and HIV. So when they get pregnant, she helps them to abort. So when she helps them to abort, they can even give them that free service. And they take the fetus to the lodge for, for, for rituals. But these girls don't know. They are innocent. They don't know. They think they have a genuine friend who is married to a doctor, a rich man, who has helped them not to drop out of school. Yes. They don't they have no idea they've been set up from the beginning. It's almost like you know, uh, planned parenthood in the US and the woman who started it, they were they were distributing pills, uh, contraceptive pills to to young ladies and whatever uh so that they won't get pregnant apparently, but really it's a license to have sex and the contraceptives don't work. But please continue. Yeah. And then when I saw the Bible, I asked what is this Bible? Because I'm coming from a Christian family. My mother, you cannot separate her from the word of God. My dad, we grew up with our parents reading Bible stories for us. So what is the Bible doing here in a certain, in a wicked place? And it was a King James Bible. Uh, Claudia explained to me the amount of blasphemy that is done there. And they do it on purpose. They get they mix the word of God with abomination to grieve the spirit of God. And when they do that, they are pleasing their God. And their God is called Jabulon. Jabulon, Ja, it's, it's, a, it's a coded name for Satan. 
one you have to know Satan's other name is Jabulon. But why is Satan using that name? Ja is taken from the word Jehovah. Bull, if you see, even if you saw in the Olympic when they were performing that ritual, the Commonwealth Games, the Commonwealth Games, they had a bull. Yes. Wow. Yes. Now, bull stands for the word Baal, and Baal is a god of fertility. That's why you see the babies' beds there, the babies being sexually harassed, defiled, tormented because they are pleasing their god Baal. Now, if you get our god Jah, Jehovah, and you mix him with Baal, and then On also is an Egyptian god, a god of war. Of war, yes. And you were mentioning in signs and symbols, you you also mentioned their their symbol On. On. Yeah, it's a it's a location in Egypt where they worship um, a, a helio god a, a yes. sun god yes of uh and it's called on and we yes. identified that on was also the name of many uh, some company in the u.s called on star yes you see a circle you see a star inside that's the north star that's lucifer again mm-hmm. uh-huh. now on is also uh, known as onuris onuris is that god of war now see anybody who is in that uh, cult in the Masonic cult, is positioned in an economic place or a place of power. Political power. Political power. Because when they are there, there is no peace in their country. There is always war. If not, in the neighboring countries, they will be the ones to ignite the war. Because to please this God, there has to be bloodshed. Jesus. And I saw some presidents that I'm not going to mention, but they know themselves if you're there, repent. If you're watching this video and you're that president that I saw, you're those presidents. I may not mention your name, but God knows you and he sees everything. You have to repent. So, Oh, I saw the president of uh, this president who was just recently ousted in the president, the former president of Gabon, Ali Bongo doing a Masonic ritual with these Frenchmen. As you see, yeah. The other one who oh. was in that occult, Nelson Mandela. Okay. Okay. And Knights he, Templar. Yes. yes. We show, in fact, let's... We'll, we'll and there's another one who he was a Kenyan president. And there are so many I will not mention. Even I will not mention because I know I need... We know the presidents across this continent. This continent... Africa is is in the problems and issues that it's in, despite it being the wealthiest continent in the world. But is the people are wallowing in poverty because the leaders of this continent are these cult members, Freemasons, Knights Templars, Rosicrucians, etc., etc. Yes. So their god is called Jabulon. Bunch of Jabulon worshippers. That's and, what they are. Yeah, and not the the Masonic cult. The way the way they, they yeah. try to make it look like a philanthropic brotherhood yes. where we get together and we make good men better. And mm-hmm. Nonsense. Yes. So these are pedophiles, and that's why they are pushing for it. They want to have their rights. It starts with the LGBTQI XYZ, but they're gonna add uh, map on it mm, minor attracted persons yeah because that's the only way they can worship their god by defiling the children and what happens to these children who are defiled they live in rebellion they they feel they start used to, and they start to hate god because they yes. say why didn't god protect me if a girl has been defiled by a man she will hate men and she'll become a lesbian yes and when you walk in rebellion rebellion is an equivalent to witchcraft the Bible says rebellion is... Is as the sin of witchcraft. In yes. In fact, rebel bell has the word bell, which is Baal. Yeah. To re-Baal, you know, to to receive Baal again. Yes. Most of those people you see uh, saying, I hate men, I hate I hate women. They Those people have been defiled and abused by a certain woman. There's an agent that the enemy used of course. To, to damage them. To a point that they hate anybody that reminds them of the person that damaged them. Our God is a God of love. He's a God of a God of second chance and is a God who forgives. And he requires that we forgive those who wrong us. And if 
if you were abused, you need to deal with it spiritually because life is spiritual. You, not every man is abusive. That man that abused you is a devil's agent. Yes. The enemy used that man to put a bad seed in your spirit so that you, you become a witch unknowingly. Anybody that is walking in rebellion is a witch, yeah. but a blind witch. They don't know. They don't know that the enemy has turned them into the opposite of what God requires of them. Right. So now, um, when this girl introduced me to this group of people, I be, and the things I'm telling you are only known by the people in the Masonic cult who are at the 33rd level of Freemasonry. Yes, because Freemasonry is a fraternity within a fraternity. fraternity. So that means those who are up in the upper echelons of that fraternity are the ones who know what I'm telling them. They know, but these ones on the outside, they do not they know. They are just uh, feeling like they are charitable organization. Uh, right. Yeah, but they forget that when they are joining this scout, they they have to sign an oath to pledge mm. that they, they put a blade on their chest mm -hmm. and they cut and they get some blood and they say that, that uh, if, as long as I'm in this fraternity, let this blade protect me. Mm -hmm. But when I get out of the fraternity, let this blade pierce my chest. Mm -hmm. When you get out and start exposing. So they don't know oh, that. I don't know when they put the blade, they put, they point a they, sword they always at, like, the, at the right. Uh -huh, yeah. And I was breast. in the scout, I was in the girl guide. The left breast is exposed. I was in the girl guide and we used to put our arm here when you are singing the anthem. Yes, and while and even in the U.S., uh, as a child, when you're doing the Pledge of Allegiance, you take your right hand and, and put you put it, it over your because heart. Because America was grounded on, on the Masonic yes. cult. Uh -huh. And then you pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, supposedly under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all, but is not that at all. But you're pledging your allegiance to a flag. So we have to di disconnect ourselves from Dear all those covenants we have to pray and disconnect ourselves from all those covenants whether the whole world is standing upside down you're not supposed to turn upside down with the world yes. the reason as to why people end up getting affected even if they are not part of it is because they pledge and they don't know and even jesus condemns us from swearing you know, uh, mm -hmm. or from taking of oaths. Yes. Yes. In Matthew chapter five, from verse thirty-three, Jesus, uh, the word says, "Again, you have heard that it has been said by them of old time, thou shalt not forswear thyself, but shall perform unto the Lord thine oaths. But I say unto you, swear not at all, neither by heaven, for it is God's throne, nor by the earth, for it is His footstool." neither by Jerusalem, for it is the city of the great king, neither shalt thou swear by thy head, because thou canst not make one hair white or black, but let your communication be yea, nay, or uh, nay, for whatsoever is more than these comes of evil. So anything that is more than yes or no comes from evil. So when, you, when they're telling you to take an oath and yeah. to swear an oath, mm -hmm. That is They're already disobedience to Jesus. And fourth generations after. Of course, because Exodus chapter 20 says, The Lord your God is a jealous God visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the third and fourth generation of them that hate me. That's in Exodus chapter 20, yes. So when you pledge that allegiance, you've covenanted your children to the fourth generation. And as a result... You get, of course, they have blessings also. You get their blessings that come with that uh, agreement. And then you also get the curses that come with it. That's why the Bible says that the blessing that God gives. The blessing of the Lord, it makes rich and he adds no, no sorrow, sorrow to it. But now these ones, they get a blessing and a sorrow that is added to it. So now the sorrow that is added to it is affliction. They're afflicted with disease. Yeah, last and time we showed death. we showed Justin Bieber how he was enjoying the stardom. He's coming on stage like Lucifer with the wings spread, but then later on, now you see this guy suffering from some kind of disease that nobody's ever even heard of. Yeah, it comes with the infirmity spirit, of course, and it also comes with the angel of death. 
who takes people prematurely because he also needs to be active in in every generation. So now what happens is, why I told you that they harvest organs, the demons that they have pledged to Jabilon, he assigns demons to enter them, Satan, and then the demons feed on them. So you find them battling with kidney problems, lung issues and all that so they need like a kidney transplant mm -hmm. and how are they gonna get it through the organs harvested and they know their hospitals when you go to that hospital you're not a member of the cult you pay an arm and a leg to get it but if you're a member of the brotherhood they'll give it to you quickly so that you can continue you know uh, doing or uh, rendering them their services so they need those organs real bad they need they, they, they <laughs> wow. this kingdom of darkness is so wicked it's and, so evil and i'm seeing that it is it is a system that is functioning on an industrial scale yes meaning that the ruthless cycle of ongoing sin is like it's like a river it's like the river Nile, just flowing and flowing with evil continuously you know, that's where the black market comes in you see, these uh, agencies, the traveling agencies, are owned by politicians, m most of them. And uh, even in Kenya, there is one politician I know who has a traveling agency. In Uganda, the same story. So they take these people to Saudi Arabia and to these countries, but they have the people they work with. They are also in the black market getting organs harvesting organs that's why a, 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 a child can be crying on social media please help me uh, my boss is doing this so this is how i'm being treated what i came to do is not what i'm getting and the government is quiet they pretend like they have not seen anything or heard anything and even if you went and reported that uh, travel agency company it cannot be shut because they are in the brotherhood and then now the hotels that I mentioned, I re realized that uh, the hospital and hotels work hand in hand, especially in the for the people in the occult, because they need water that has been used to bath the dead bodies for their rituals. So you eat that food and you feel like if you don't eat that food, you've not eaten. But you don't know that what is pulling you is the water that they are using to mix in the food the dead bodies so it's very important we don't know where we go to eat most of the times but pray over the food uh -huh. pray over that food there is power in prayer because life is spiritual i'm not telling you this to scare you and then it's very important if possible it's okay we eat at home because hey it's only at home that you know what you're eating than in those so-called uh, public places because there people are eating all sorts of filth mm -hmm. and they don't understand. In fact, Jesus, that's no wonder Jesus said Mark in, in Mark 16, he says, they shall take up serpents and if they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, obviously, unintentionally, it's not like you're drinking yeah. poison to say, I have Jesus, thou shalt not put the Lord thy God to the test. So, but there are sometimes you find yourself in a situation, you're in a buying, hotel and you have no idea. You're, that you're in a restaurant, you don't know what the owner of this restaurant is doing. You pray over that food. Yes. You don't be taken by the aroma. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, it is good to eat from home. From if home. you can get food from the farm directly, mm -hmm. and prepare your own food, you know for sure what you're, you're eating. eating. That, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, uh, then now, from there i started now i started now realizing that, hey this thing is deeper people are scammed on a daily basis and they have no idea they are running after these politicians and shouting and and putting their hopes in them and they are ready to even die you find a man wrestling with a wife because the wife is supporting an, a, a member of another party and kwanza even when they meet the members of opposition 
are in good terms with the people in the government behind the scenes right uh, yeah behind the scenes mm. and and they are funding and uplifting each other and the you know but the people that are dying are being sacrificed to the god of war to onuris they are dying innocent people are dying and onuris is giving them more power imagine you would feel bad if after you have after your sons have died they are handshaking but you don't feel bad again next time they come and you still do the same thing the same foolishness yes because like even here in Kenya you know while uh Kenyatta was pre- president Uhuru Kenyatta was the president uh Raila Odinga the leader of the opposition led protests and of course during those protests people are dying but a short time later Raila, Raila and Uhuru are shaking hands. Then you know what I mean? should be and crazy with the one who is shaking hands after they have died for him. Exactly. And but it doesn't happen that way. You know, they just kind of forget the people who died. And this I think this is part of the spell. Yes. That is that there's a there's a spell on people to make I mean, how can one man make legions of people come out into the street and lay down their lives for some political ideology, Jack you know? Milan is a principality. Yeah, it's not a game. It's not a game. This yes. this thing is and so and, and he can give you a cult like following because yes. so many people are under the influence of demons. So a person can be obsessed with a political party and not know why he's obsessed with this political party with this political leader because you hear you hear people saying this the dumbest things about Raila. They say if Raila says if if Baba they call Raila Baba. They say if Baba says I lay down in the street and be run over I'm laying down in the street. It's like, no, what kind of reasoning is that? You know the what I mean? Thing that Doesn't make sense. When many people died in the name of of religion here in Kenya, you would mm-hmm. expect that the people who were involved the, are going to be arrested and we would want to see the case being followed up, but it just was covered under the Right? Day. Shakahola. Yeah, the Shakahola scandal. scandal. We have not had anything like after that. There's a way it trended and now it has gone down. That's what they do. Of course. The brotherhood, that's what they do. It's not in the newspapers anymore. It's, it's not, not in the forefront. Anymore. It faded. Yes. Now they're on to the next one. Yes, and the people who participated in it are now continuing in the same business that they were in. Oh my God. Yeah. So, uh, and who is benefiting? Onuris. And uh, most of these people hide as religious leaders. Most of them hide as religious leaders because they know when you're in charge of masses of people mm-hmm. then they you have the you have access into their families into their lives into their finances what the enemy wants is control mm-hmm. that's why you don't follow a man or a woman blindly any man or woman can err mm-hmm. it's only god who doesn't because jesus is the same yesterday today and forever but the man can change so i may start well and i end up ending but god forbid i'm just giving an example but some people start well preaching the gospel and then they end up compromising so if you're following a man himself when the man compromises you you'll be know. the victim mm-hmm. and you won't know and when they, when they start pointing out that hey look here this person you've been following is doing abcd you say touch not the lord's anointed <laughs> but the anointing has already left the person and now the person is is now worshiping jabulon no no he, the gifts and callings are not are without repentance god anointed him but now his anointing can be defiled jabulon is at work because jabulon can also perform miracles you know what's interesting even during the days of jesus Of course, Jerusalem was conquered by Rome. Mm-hmm. All right. Do you know that the high priest his name was Joseph Caiaphas? Caiaphas was not even a, a Hebrew. Caiaphas had been appointed. He was a convert to to uh to Judaism. Uh he was from Edom and he had been appointed by the emperor of Rome to be the high priest. So the high priest so the priesthood in in Jerusalem at that time you see because a high priest had to be a brother of Aaron mm-hmm. a direct I mean a uh, a uh, uh, a direct descendant of Aaron the brother of Moses that's what I was trying to say mm-hmm. to be a high priest in Israel you had to be the brother of uh, you had to be a direct descendant of Aaron the brother of Moses so this man obviously he's not a direct descendant but he was appointed as the as the as the high priest 
So and that's the, and that's the same thing we're seeing now. We're seeing mm-hmm. people who have been appointed different positions as spiritual leaders but they have not been appointed some are by spies. god some are spies mm-hmm. they're spying for the by, government they've not been appointed by god yeah they are being funded by the government and people take them their secrets oh yes. people yeah. people come with secrets to the man mm. of god mm. e, and they give them intelligence and that's how they gather such so much information so unfortunate when you tell a person why don't you tell your secrets to god than to tell a, a person your secret why why do you trust man more than god that cursed is the man that trusts in man that makes flesh his arm who whose heart has departed from the lord meaning that he, this guy this person does not believe that that god can hear their prayer directly yes. so instead they believe that they want the, to receive the man of god can work a miracle and because they want a shortcut sometimes because some of the answers to our prayers are found in the word of god there are certain things that we must meditate on that must be sown as a seed in our hearts and then it must grow slowly and then the fruit of that seed which you have been meditating on begins to find expression in your life but others want a shortcut yes they don't want to, they want to they want to sow a financial seed and get a quick and get a quick miracle but that's not what god has prescribed he said this book of the law shall not depart out of your mouth Thou shalt meditate therein day and night, that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success. But others don't want to follow this book of the law. Others want a shortcut so they can sow a seed. And if you're willing to sow a seed, there are plenty of false prophets who are willing to preach the seed message to buy themselves an empire. And uh, there is a, a rich man I know because he was also in that uh, same brotherhood in the in the Masonic cult. This man, hey, he was known like he had malls, he had serious businesses. shopping centers, and- shopping centers, yeah, in 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 a very good places in Entebbe and uh, capital, yes, and he had hey he had things going on rentals real estates so this man he before he got that you know what happens is these people they see the star on somebody's life and they send demons to frustrate all his efforts and put him in a desperate mode so when you're desperate desperate calls call for desperate measures that's the, the, according to the people of the world so this man was a hawker he used to he used to uh, sell uh, goods on behalf of rich people and he would take back the money and get peanuts so these rich people frustrated him intentionally because they could see the star that he had and mm-hmm. they needed him to join them so they would frustrate him and send him to other offices to hawk their goods and then he takes the money sometimes they don't pay him sometimes they give him little money and then they send a few spells to him to 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 like children are sick he doesn't have money for their hospital uh, and then he's ha- having to work twice to get uh, at least to be able to take them to hospital so one of the members of the masonic cult consulted him and he approached him and said you see you are a good man your businessman you have potential you had working but i can help you climb up you can even be richer than your boss you see that boss of yours is not telling you information because he doesn't wish you well but if you listen to what i'm going to tell you you will even excel him you supersede him and once you join us he will not even fight you because our rule is we don't fight each other Mm-hmm. So now Christians why do we fight each other? You find a pastor is very afraid of you because you're doing deliverance. Yeah the pastor is a teacher of the word. And another and you know but the church is church members are so gullible like they they, they fight each other. Why? So uh 
They're quick to be jealous of each other. Yeah. It's the flesh. It's Sister the so-and-so it's is just, singing better than me. They are it's carnality. Me. It's carnality. When they don't know their role, they start feeling jealous of somebody else's role. It's like you're not that's you're not them. They're not you. You have a different role in the body. Yes. And we are all we, we are all important. Of course. Yes. Everybody can't be a nose. An apostle, every, every, a prophet. The whole body cannot be a leg. Yes. So this brother accepted because he was desperate with his wife they accepted they used to work together so now once they accepted they opened the door they were taken to india to the indian ocean and they there they met uh, a certain entity a certain demon and that demon uh they entered into an oath and uh the demon gave them power to create wealth so they told they told their family members that they are going on a business trip that's what they all tell their family members if your husband is going for a business trip all the time and is not open you better start praying because that business trip can be a serious dangerous trip and you have no idea maybe on that business trip they are going to tell him to sacrifice you or your children and you have no idea start observing every business trip even if it's a wife if they are not open and they are going for those business <laughs> so now they come back when they come back they bro- they meet the brotherhood the members of the brotherhood and what they do once you have joined them they give you small money capital it's to get started it's a seed to get started it's called capital yes it's what most people don't have they're wondering okay i would love to start my business but where do i get the capital ah. of they course in the king- give you a lot of money in the kingdom of darkness they give you something to start with yes mm-hmm. but so they now give, they give you something small but they already know that the anointing is going to multiply it so now the man starts now his business he starts importing things and and, and, and then since satan has okay he commands demons and demons are influencing human beings the bible says oh lord i know that the way of man is not in himself it is not in man that walks to direct his steps that's jeremiah 10:23 so we know man is under the influence of spirits satan can send a spirit to compel you and those spirits now thousands of spirits maybe millions of spirits can be compelled to come to one shop yes and now all of a sudden you're the man uh-huh. so now he starts by renting Mm. and and importing goods and the goods were so much on demand and then he grew from renting to building his own malls mm-hmm. and now he starts now putting his goods in his malls now he's selling wholesale now these ones are and still having some rented places where he's also putting some some of his stock and then people are buying both wholesale and also in, in the normal price like then he continues from there he starts now real estate and the man now grew he became so big now he's recognized in the in the society he's now a, a kind of person who can attend a function and say i'm giving 900 million and he's like he has given change mm-hmm. he's a kind of person you would want to attend your your function mm-hmm. because you know he's going to wash it with money so he started now meeting with the big guys he started now uh, now getting the security these are the people now who, when they are on the road you have to give way they cannot afford to stay in 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 jam in traffic yeah so they will be given security to create way for them you know mm-hmm. so the man's life improved indeed we admire that man hey mm. everybody you got to know the man i'm not going to mention his name because of the reasons i told you but as i explain you will know him he's still alive huh he died oh. and how he died is at a certain point when now their businesses went up at a certain point they started seeing things going down again and of course they had to go back for a business trip as usual so they go back to india and they say you see when you joined us we welcomed you mm-hmm. we offered you whatever you asked for but you have not thanked us we want a sacrifice and the sacrifice is either one of you dies or your son your first boy and the woman is like the boy that we have groomed to run all the businesses yes that's the one we want the other children are probably taking drugs and and the girls are you know you know those children who come from 
from uh, that kind of background, they are not stable because spirits start playing with them. So now you find that this man is rich, but the spirits are now messing with the children. Now this one of the son is taking drugs. The girl is now into prostitution, yet they are rich. She's the one who's buying the boys. You know, they are not stable. So now the one that they are looking at as a stable one, the one they have invested in everything and educated, the one that they have shown all the businesses, the one that they have hopes in to take care of the siblings is the one that they're asking for, for sacrifice. And the man accepted. He said, well, if that's what you want, I'll, I'll offer him to you. And the woman's like, no way, not my son. We went into this so that we can give our children a better life. So if we have to die, let, us, we, let we the adults die and spare the children. Now they start conflicting each other with each other. And uh, the woman's like, okay, if we kill the children, still, if we kill this boy, still they ask us for another one and another one. And later we have no one to kill and then they will come for us. So as they are debating, the man starts making phone calls and arranging on how to assassinate his son. And the woman goes ahead of the man as he's jogging, jogging, jogging. Oh, he used to come out and jog every day. Yes, he would come out of his house and jog and then before he goes for his... So as he's jogging, the woman cooperates with some of his bodyguards and they kill him. As he's entering his house, they shot him. So when the police starts investigating, they trace that his assassination has... The woman has something to do with his assassination and the woman is arrested and the son says you cannot arrest the way my mother loved my dad my mom cannot kill my dad you cannot arrest mommy you want to take mommy's properties blah so he gets a big lawyer and they go to talk to the mom as she's arrested you know they give you at least a right to meet a lawyer so the mom is like please don't waste our money i did it and i did it to save you your dad wanted you dead because this is what we did to get the wealth. So we want you to continue with that wealth and take care of your siblings. And the brothers of the occult are waiting for him because it, why they name their shops a certain way or their businesses? If you say grant something hotel or grant something business, or, you know, they know that this is a member of our family. So they will come and buy from you. They will support you only. Yeah, so now they say now that you need to go and join the brotherhood so that you can support your siblings. The wealth can continue. The boy is like, I don't want to join the brotherhood because see what the brotherhood has done to us. But I still want the wealth. So now he comes to me because at least he, he had an idea that I knew them. And now me, I was born again at that point. I was even very broke. So... You know, when you give your life to Jesus, Satan takes everything that he had given you. Then you start from from, from scratch. Yeah. So he comes to me and he tells me, dad left everything to me, but I have to join the brotherhood. So I, I tell him, yeah, if you want to end up like your dad, join the brotherhood. But if you don't want to end up like your dad, start from zero like me. You see how I am? <laughs> I've lost everything, but I have peace. No demon is strangling me. No demon is disturbing me. I'm very peaceful. And I know God is going to raise me up at a certain point. Uh, better is a poor man in his righteousness than a rich man and trouble therewith. Yes. Yeah, so eventually they put a lot of pressure on him and he joined it. But still, you can see that the business is not flourishing like it was. Yeah, he's, he's just trying to maintain... And, and there is now war in the family. The siblings are also fighting for the same properties. Mm. Yeah, so... And then jealousy yes. ensues. And yeah, then why, why, and... why did he have to inherit like he's the only child? Mm. It's things like that. So the boy is under pressure. So now there, there are so many... And, and then the other thing you need to know is I learned uh, as I was working with that girl, uh, Claudia, I learned that a person can... A person can be possessed eh, with demons and use those demons to manip manipulate and exploit other people. For example, 
when I started working with her, I would go to my friends. Dif- I had different friends. So I would go to their shops. And I find my friend is struggling to even get one customer. Because life is spiritual. Christians think that when you get when you get capital and then you you start a business, that that that's it. But they don't know that for you to be able to get it, it goes beyond even advertising. It goes beyond that. You can be so anointed to a point that you even chase away some customers. God can give you dominion in the business sector to a point that you chase customers. I have done business before and I have chased customers before. With, with like I found my sister she's struggling in a shop. She's she stays there the whole day and she closes the shop. Nobody has bought anything. I start I join her in the shop and now we are chasing away customers. So now the secret is here. See the people in the kingdom of darkness, they use spirits to manipulate their customers. To they use to, to pull customers. To pull, to pull them and also to manipulate them. So this happens in the marketplace. A person will not put a badge on their forehead that I am rich or I am loaded have money most of the rich people when they are going to shop in downtown places or they 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 put on normally so you may not know that this person has the ability to even shop everything in here and leave me dry and tomorrow i have to go back and restock so what i would do i would sit and the spirit would identify a rooted person somebody who has money and then the spirit now would speak through me and i say customer and the man would stand or the woman and look at me. Then I smile, but I'm not smiling. The spirit is using me. Then I say, come, what are you looking for? Then she comes and says, I'm looking for I say, a white shoe. The spirit knows that this person is looking for a white shoe. Then I say, yes, I have plenty of them. And I have this brand, this brand. The spirit knows even the brand that the person is looking for. Even if I don't have it, I'll go to my neighbor and say, give me the shoe. How much are you selling it? I'm selling it for you. So me... As a, if I'm a marketing person, if my friend has told me I'm selling this shoe fifty thousand, I will sell it twenty thousand. Mm-hmm. I'll give her her fifty. I remain with my one fifty. As long as she's selling, she also has no problem with me. So, I tell the customer, well, I have this now. This is from Italy. This is from Dubai. This one here is from China, and the differ, the prices differ just because you're my first customer today. I'm going to give you a fair price. And the person will be excited. Then I give double the price. And then we bargain. I, I reduce a little bit. By the time they're getting out, they have bought like 10 pairs of shoes or 10 handbags. And they're excited and contented with it. But I have conned them. And, and then this person next door is wondering, how comes I have the same thing? And even if I give the actual price, they are not buying. Me, I'm using... I will be using satanic anointing, demons to manipulate people, to exp- to play with their brains. In fact, if you're going to shop, first pray that the spirit of God will lead you to the right people, that you will not be conned. People just walk up to the house. I'm going shopping. I'm going shopping, guys. I'm going shopping They're on TikTok. I'm going shopping. <laughs> you don't know that even there, the enemy has planted people to rob them. So they find out later that huh, they were conned. And they have been buying in that shop. But by the time they find out, it's too late. So uh, even Christians, beyond our academic knowledge, beyond our financial abilities, beyond our understanding, the Bible says, trust in the Lord with with all your heart and lean not onto your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he shall direct your path. So you have to be able to trust in God. How? A Muslim will not start business without without praying to, to his God. Even if you're there with the money and you're ready to cash and it's time to pray, they will go and pray. You find a witch, she will not open the store before performing her rituals. The Buddhists, they will not, they will not, no matter how loaded you are, you have to pack and wait. But a Christian, most Christians, they just start the day like that. You just open your shop and then you, you just, some of them don't even clean the shop. You just open your shop and you start the day like, and, but you don't know the forces that you're fighting. 
in the marketplace, there are powers that you're dealing with. You, for you to be able to excel in that marketplace, you have to apply spiritual power. Life is spiritual. You don't have to just open your shop and start calling customers. Your, your neighbor will just sit and you will see customers bypassing your shop and running there and he's sending them away and they are ready to come back the following day. Yet you have even better quality uh, uh, things than your neighbor. Why? Life is spiritual, but many people don't understand that concept. People are using the Masonic powers. How are you going to fight a guy that is using the Masonic powers, the person that is using Jabalon? How are you going to fight with that person? It has to be spiritual. You have to declare scriptures. You have to declare the word of God upon your business. He will bless the works of my hands. I am blessed coming in. I am blessed going out. You have to declare those mm. words upon your life. Because if you don't, you will be getting frustrated, moving from one ministry to another to pray for a blessing, a financial breakthrough. Sowing and so seed. Seed. Diving. And also even those those prophets will also take advantage of your situation and, and they start also conning you because you have no idea of the forces and the things that you're dealing with. So now, working, working with this girl, exposed me to a lot of evil. I'm telling you, I saw celebrities in that cult. Kenyan, Tanzanian, Ugandan, if I mention their names, I don't want to, their children, I don't want them to say that I'm the reason as to why. They, <laughs> but if I saw celebrities, that's why I'm not, I'm not excited so much about celebrities. Because I know the things that people do behind the scenes to get that following, to get a, you see them to putting on white on stage, base. but yet yesterday they were covered in blood. They were raping children, underage children, a big man on a four-year-old. Can you imagine that kind of wickedness? And you're there with your family praising him and shouting and lamenting and taking selfies. But you don't know that when he's looking at your child like this, he's lasting because he's a pedophile. And, and, and you know what happens with these people that, that are in the occult, in the occultic world? They abuse their children. You find that this man is rich, but out of his children, there is a girl that is defiling He's sleeping with his daughter. There's a, there are women, you can see, she's a rich woman, single mother, but she's sleeping with the son. And she will give the son the best education. She doesn't want any woman around her son. If you, if you attempt to get married to a son, you'll be their slave. She'll be the one to order and, and, and make uh, rules of your home. She'll be the head of your home. And there are many families that are going through what I'm talking about. You got married... But it's your mother in love that is the head of your family. Whatever your mother in love says, that's it. It's final. And the mother, the, the son cannot do anything because the mother is controlling the finances. The mother is controlling his life. He's so afraid of his mother. The mother is in the, in the occult, in the Masonic cult. And then as a result, your children are sickly. And when you think... Of, of, of leaving that home, you're like, how am I going to take uh, care of my child? He's a sickler. You see, I would have left this marriage, but it's because of my children. That is the affliction that comes with serving the enemy. With serving Jablon, that is what they get. You see, you find that in a family, there's this child who has an issue, but they don't want you to come up with a solution that can liberate the child. The child is possessed you can clearly know but they are pampering the spirit in the child because they know if this child dies this spirit that is tormenting him will look for another child so they rather be with this possessed child let him be stealing the money let him be stealing let him be taking the, the things from the house and selling and taking drugs as long as he's alive we are safe because they know he's feeding the spirit that is in him it happens in indian homes you find a child is so deformed, mm -hmm. but they are doing very well. Yeah, I, I find that in very many of these Indians' homes. Like, they're super rich, but one of them in the family is always, you know, just deformed, Saliva. drooling, and just, man, out of their minds. But that one is the oracle of the family. 
Yeah. That's the one that the, the evil spirit speaks through. Yes. And they keep it pleased. They they take care of it. They'll give them their own room. Even they'll if they'll hire millions. They will not do anything to him. Even if he drinks all of it, they will not do anything to him. Mm. So that is the life of the people that are in the occult. That uh that Claudia there introduced me to that life and she was misleading children. If before you take your children to school, please make sure they are spiritually sober and keep visiting them find out what is happening in your child's life because if you don't there are people there that the enemy has planted you know imagine a child is a, I, I interacted with the pastor's daughter who had aborted six times and the pastor doesn't know anything she just came to me because of how i testify and then sometimes i would give uh, room for people to come for counseling and this girl opens up and she says i am so and so's daughter i'm like wow because i know the pastor is a very prominent man of god and the, the young girl has aborted six times and the father doesn't know the mother doesn't know that is how we are so distanced from our children that a child can abort six times and the pastor doesn't know he's busy winning souls into the kingdom of god while his own child is perishing and going to hell hey we have to wake up saints we have to wake up because the attack is real the enemy is the battle is on the enemy is not afraid of any religion this this fight this ongoing war is vicious it's just that when we look outside we don't see how vicious this war is but if god were to open your eyes for a moment and just look in the heavens look in the marine kingdom look in the forest look at the 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 demons the the sheer number of demons that are on this earth in the billions and how they afflict men how they ride on the shoulders of men how they how they compel men how they enslave men how they put men in bondage in different forms different devils with different names like fornication like adultery like lying like addiction like drugs like alcohol all of these different forms of addiction and one of the things that Jesus does is and one of the reasons why I love Jesus he says in John 7:7 7, the world cannot hate you but me it hates because i testify of it that the works thereof are evil so there should be an ongoing campaign of real genuine churches exposing the evil you saw how doja cat just came out with just this garbage now if she's doing that in public then the sacrifices that are taking place behind closed doors are murderous evil she's doing deep evil all of these so-called a list they to me they're just they're just on the highest echelons of evil what you call celebrities we call witches sorcerers um abusers of children sacrificing children just ruining people's lives and they have millions of fans because their fans live in the flesh anyone who does not know the lord will be pulled into their evil now you know satan has a way of ruling this world and he rules this world as the bible has already told us that in second corinthians 4:4 4, 4 it says in whom the god of this world has blinded the minds of them that believe not that the light of the glorious gospel of christ should shine upon them so satan has deceived anyone who does not believe in christ he's wide open for yes. deception all right now satan rules them because the vast majority of this world look 7 8 billion people how many christians do we have maybe 800 million maybe a billion how many genuine christians hmm. far less than that all right now that means the vast majority of the world is under the direct influence of satan his principalities his powers his rulers of the darkness of this world spiritual wickedness in high places and they run a system satan rules this world through a system and it's not possible to rule without systems and one of the systems he rules through is called astrology now one of the elements of astrology is the solar system and we were taught about the solar system in school 
how the sun is at the center and then there are planets rotating around the sun. One of the elements of this of astrology is the solar system. All right, now, every time the earth travels around the sun, you call that a year. And every time the earth spins on its axis, you call that a day. And every day has been named after a god. We remember we already told you that Monday was the day they worshipped the, the moon and, and Tiu is a god. So Tiu's day is the day that they worship that god is called Tiu. And, and Woden or Odin's day, Woden's day is Wednesday and, and Thursday is Thor's day. So moving right along, every 30 days you call that a month. Every month has been named after a god. Did you know that? Did you know that January is named after Janus, the god of doors and gates? Did you know that February was named after Februalia, a time period when sacrifices were made to atone for sins? So when you're saying I was born in February, you're actually saying I was born in Februalia, the time period when sacrifices are made to atone for sins. Imagine, I mean, this is crazy. March is named after Mars, the god of war. April is aperire, which is Latin, which means to open or fl to cause to flourish, to bud. Mm -hmm. May is named after Maya, the goddess of growth and plants. June is uh, from Junius, which is Latin for the goddess Juno. July is named after Julius Caesar in 44 BC. Julius Caesar named that month after himself. August is named after Augustus Caesar in 8 BC. September comes from the, word, the Latin word septem, which is for seven. October comes from the Latin word octo, which means eight. November comes from novem, which is Latin for nine. And December from decem, which is Latin for ten. So these months and these days have been named after various gods and as if that's not enough, astrology is wrapped up in all of this. So what we learned in school was astrology. We were learning the, the, the initial steps. We were being initiated into astrology. That's why after you're educated, supposedly, trying to teach you the word of God is like climbing a mountain. You were initiated in school. Even if you went to a Christian school, you learned that the first day was Sunday. The second day was Monday. But in the Bible, you'll never see Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. You always see the first day, the third day. You'll see the Sabbath, which is the seventh day, etc., etc. So what we are looking at in terms of the calendar and the names of the days is part of Satan's system of astrology that rules over humanity because then you're going to see how this connects with you. You're going to see how this connects with Freemasonry because every day you know that business is the activity of life. People get up, they go to work. What are they doing? They are working. They're providing goods and services so that they can make a living. But Satan has ruled over that and he's doing so through the solar system, through astrology. All right. And I mean, in most people, in so many people's conversations, you ask them, what's what's your star? <laughs> you yes. know what I mean? You you look in the newspaper and you can see the the, the astrological table. Yeah. All right. That's part and parcel of Satan's system of ruling. He has to rule the world through systems and astrology is how he's doing it. And if you believe in the sun being at the center and the planets are traveling around the sun, you are you also believe partially in that Luciferian ideology. The names of those planets are named after those gods. Mars is a god. Uh, Jupiter is another god. It's the the god Jupiter, the sun god Jupiter, or some, and 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 on and on. Mercury is the name of another god. Venus is the name of another god. In fact, but many people purchase the um, the Venus the, the like for hair care and things like that. The the company has named themselves yeah. after Venus. Mm -hmm. Saturn is actually Satan. And if you look at the planet Saturn, you'll see at the bottom there's a hexagram which is the six-sided hexagram, Yes. which is the star of Moloch. It's found in Amos chapter 5 and verse 26. He says, but you have borne the tabernacle of your Moloch, uh, the star of your God, which you made unto yourself. Let me read it. Let me read it. 
um, word for word, but you have borne the tabernacle of your Moloch and Chiun, your images, the star of your God, which you made to yourselves. So you see this star of their God, the hexagram, is what you can see on the bottom of Saturn. All right. Now, remember, remember, Saturday is Saturn's day or Satan's day. You see how much sin escalates over the weekend and drunkenness escalates over the weekend. There's increase of drunk driving and death and carnage and divorces to, and all kinds of evil. Adultery is taking place over the weekend like the sin increases over the weekend, comes back down Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday when people are enslaved. All right. So and you see that same hexagram on the so-called flag of Israel, modern day Israel. And you see that so-called hexagram right there on the dollar. So you see what you're dealing with as you are going to work. You're getting up when the sun rises and you're going to work and you come back home and you go to sleep when the sun comes down and you repeat the process day after day after day. You are in a system and you are under the influence of an astrological Luciferian heliocentric system that is designed by the devil to keep you enslaved. And so if you never wake up out of that system, my God, you can be a system, you can be a slave for the for your whole life. You can find yourself being a slave for your whole entire life. So I wanted you to know the names of those days and I wanted you to be able to correlate with the legacy of the Roman calendar because it, 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 this comes from Rome yes. and we're in the final empire, which is Rome, the system and the cycle of of the what what is called the solar system. It also enslaves humanity. Um, now, the modern Gregorian calendar has roots in the Roman calendar. All right. Now, specifically, the calendar that was decreed by Julius Caesar. The Gregorian calendar, like the Julian calendar, is a solar calendar with 12 months of 28 to 31 days each. Now, the year in both calendars consists of 365 days, with a leap day being added to February in the, in the leap year. So sometimes we have 366 days in the year. All right, so the months and lengths of months in the Gregorian calendar are the same as for the Julian calendar. Now, the origin of the Gregorian calendar is important because it is named after the Pope, Pope Gregory the 13th, who issued the papal bull in called it and it's in it's in Latin. It's called inter graf, gravissimas, gravissimas, <laughs> inter gravissimas in 1582, announcing calendar reforms for all of Catholic Christendom. So Pope Gregory is the one who came up with this calendar. And all of the days, remember, they're named after gods. So the Gregorian calendar modified the existing Julian calendar, which Julius Caesar had introduced to the ancient Roman Republic in 46 BC. So you see, we're still under the Roman Roman Catholic um, system of idolatry and pagan worship of gods. So the names of the months in English all have Latin roots. Note, uh, please note that the, the earliest Latin calendar was a 10 month one beginning with March. Thus, September was the seventh month, October the eighth, etc. But July was originally called Quintilis, meaning fifth. August was originally called Sextilis, meaning sixth, which is interesting that it's called Sextilis, meaning six. And that word Sextilis is so close. Six is so close to the word sex, but uh, I don't want to digress. All right. But so what does the Bible say about the days in Genesis chapter one, verse five? The Bible says, and God called the, the light day and the darkness he called night and the evening and the morning were the first day. So as far as God is concerned, the day begins from evening to morning, meaning from darkness to light. But as far as Satan and the heliocentric Gregorian calendar are concerned, the day begins from sunrise and ends in nightfall, meaning that we start in the light and end in the darkness and that's when they're active in the darkness that's when they're in those meetings defying the children mm. molesting and sodomizing they want you to be asleep when they are working yes. so that's when you're working they are also resting because they are they have already programmed everything the way they want it to be mm. so christians night time is not for sleeping it's for warfare 
Oh man, at least there, there should be a certain hour or two that you spend from, especially around the, the, the time around 12 a.m., between 12 and 3. Yeah, that's when evil is at its peak. Get an hour in there to do some spiritual warfare and to program your day. Even if you got to get up early, try to, huh, if you have to be up at 6 a.m., get up at 5 so that you can get into spiritual warfare at least for an hour and deprogram the enemy's plans and reprogram your day with God's word. You then you will see your, your, your neighbor at a place of work that is using witchcraft to pull customers shifting. You'll see, yes. Because they, once they know that you know that life is spiritual and you're praying, they know that you're using stronger power than them. They know that automatically they cannot function. Yes, their gods are not more powerful than your God, than our God. Amen. So God's plan is to program our lives out from darkness into the light through his son. S-O-N. His son. But Satan's plan is to program our lives away from the light into the darkness through his son, his S-U-N. Understand that. Because the sun has three rays inside of it. Ordinarily, sunlight is broken down into three major components. One, visible light with wavelengths between 0.4 and 0.8 micrometers. Two is ultraviolet light with wavelengths shorter than 0.4 microme micrometers. And three, infrared radiation with wavelengths longer than 0.8 uh, micrometers. So the three most common types of radiation are alpha particles, beta particles, and gamma. Alpha, remember we learned that in school, alpha, beta, and gamma rays. All right, so alpha radiation is not able to, that, the alpha is the one that's not able to penetrate the skin. But there's visible light, there's ultraviolet light, and there's infrared light. Now, could it be could these rays of light coincide with the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes and the pride of life? Mm -hmm. Because if you go try going out and standing under the sun for a long period of time, you can die. Yeah. So and, and, the, and creation was not always that way. Creation was not always harsh against humanity. So what is the sun doing? What is the sun actually doing? What are people doing under the sun? What do they do during the day? You know? Um, of course, God created it, but when man fell, everything turned against man. Now the lions, now the, the tigers, now the elephants, those things that used to be under man's command are very willing and ready to kill man at any moment. Man became an enemy. So um, what, is, what is taking place under the sun? These gamma rays, these beta rays, what are they really doing to man? They seem to darken the understanding. If you stand in the sun for long periods of time, of course, your skin will get dark. But spiritually, what is happening? Your your understanding is being darkened. And if you stand in the sun for too long, you can pass out. You can die. People get skin cancer from being in the sun for too long. So what is in the rays of the sun that, that afflicts man so, uh, so much? So um, with that knowledge, let's go back to the scripture. In 1 John 2, 15 verse to, to verse 17, it says, love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life is not of the Father, but is of the world. And the world passes away, and the lust thereof. But he that does the will of God abides forever. So that lust of the flesh, lust of the eyes, pride of life might be those alpha, beta, and gamma rays that the enemy uses against humanity. Now, um, solar radiation includes visible light, ultraviolet light, infrared, radio waves, X-rays, and gamma rays. So radiation is one way to transfer heat. So to radiate means to send out or to spread from a central location. Now, in Ecclesiastes chapter 1, verse 9, the Bible says, the thing that has been it is that which shall be, and that which is done is that which shall be done, and there is no new thing under the sun. All right, Ecclesiastes chapter 10 from verse 5 to verse 7 says, There is an evil which I have seen under the sun. Watch this. As an error which proceeds from the ruler. Who is the ruler of this world? Satan. And then he explains what happens under the sun, under this ruler 
who is Satan. The Bible says, folly is set in great dignity. In other words, foolishness is set in great dignity, and the rich sit in low place. I have seen servants upon horses and princes walking as servants upon the earth. All of this is taking place under the sun. And this is what you were talking about. It doesn't matter how intelligent you are, how well you did in school. If you're not in the brotherhood, if you're not in this cult, you're not going to rise through the so ranks. Some respectable men and women, the people that uh, people look at as honorable are not honorables because they were having aprons, they were in suits, they were the ones that are doing all sorts of abominations to these children, sodomizing children, beheading them. So you were present during one of the rituals in that lodge? In that I could not lodge. Know when they are performing the ritual, if you're not now a member of them, like I was a sorcerer, yeah? But I was now not in the Masonic cult. Mm -hmm. But where we were, they could screen everything. You could see, because if, if you're new to it, if you've not signed out, up to it, it can overwhelm you as a person. Mm -hmm. So what they do, for you not to interrupt their rituals, they put you somewhere where you can see whatever is happening uh, so that you can decide if you also want to join because they have promises. They promise to make you either economically strong or politically strong, depending on what you want. And if you witness that and you say, yes, I want in, in exchange for those promises, it means that you are so void of humanity and integrity that you're willing to do what they're doing in there. You find what they're doing acceptable and you're willing to do what they're doing in order to receive your own riches, so your own power. They, yeah, they put you there so that they can recruit you, they can win you over. You know, and they know that you're capable of doing it because you're also a high level sorcerer. So they, they don't bring everybody to see, but they select. They are selective. They know. Just like you can say, I'm, my spirit is comfortable with brother so and so. I have this knowledge in maybe this area, deliverance. Brother so and so is good with the word. So maybe I can share my deliverance knowledge with this brother. And then he can also share with me the knowledge that he has about the word, you know, how he interprets the word, you see, so that we grow. Now, what they do, they want more members and more committed members. And for me, they had seen that in our generation, my grandparents have been faithful to, to serve the devil. So now me, they did not have any anything in their mind that at some point I'll get out and start exposing them the way I'm exposing them. So they allowed me to see, but I'm telling you, the people you think are honorable, in suits, pastors, before you invite them to our platforms as if they are honorables, are not honorables. They, they are coming to church with money just to clean their consciousness after they have sodomized a few children. Like, let's say they can do that ritual on Friday, then they feel so filthy and they want to be close to holy and they bring some few... They want to appease their consciences. Yes, they bring some few uh, shillings on the altar and then you give them a platform. But when you see the hands that are bringing money on the altar, it's dirty money. They have, they, they have taken money that is supposed to buy beds and oxygen in hospitals and ambulances and they are bringing... 10% 10, 10 of that money to your church and you're accepting them and allowing them to, to motivate the mm -hmm. youth. You see, you see, in 1 John 1, 5, the Bible says, then, this then is the message which we have heard of him and declare unto you that God is light and in him is no darkness at all. all. And so that statement is key right now because if you see that they have a Bible in that Masonic Lodge and they're performing Abomination. abominations, they're making a statement. They're saying, yes, God, your word is available to us. We see it plainly. We have heard the commandments. However, yeah. we have deliberately chosen to rebel against you, against your word, and everything you call holy and sacred to us is despised. And, and so is our God, is the one we have chosen over you. Yes. That's, that's the statement they are making. My God, that's a huge statement. That's a huge statement because, oh, you can Instead can't... of Jehovah, they prefer Jabalon. Mm -hmm. And that's exactly what Jesus was saying. 
he was saying that the, the judgment has not come because light was not available. No, 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 no. Judgment has come because light was made available. But men chose darkness rather than light. And that's why the judgment comes so hard. That's why, that's why we are pleading with the souls of men to repent because they don't know what their leaders are doing. You don't know what the leaders of your nations are doing to, to, to receive power and to retain that power. Just to obtain that power requires blood sacrifices. To keep that power requires blood sacrifices. And this is monthly. And this is um, in every nation, every government every senior position in banking in business and so the slaughter the ongoing flow of the blood of innocence is ongoing this jubilant has an insatiable appetite for the blood of innocence and for the souls of men my god this thing is on an industrial scale so by the time we're preaching we're preaching men out from under the 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 leadership of wicked men yes and you find in their hotels they still put that uh, circle and the star as you're entering in, in those hotels at the reception mm -hmm. you still see their symbols on you the see floor. a circle and a star uh, yeah they, wow. they checkered floor mm. they, they they like all that they love the checkered floor yes, yes to show the duality the yes. good and evil yeah. which is which is what's so uh, you go to those casinos you find the same symbols mm -hmm. you go you see compass and square on the furniture. You see all those symbols. You'll be able to know the source of their of their power. And why they want to have hotels is when they are going to these different places for the, those rituals. They are they are, they are taken in. You know, like mm. you are Christian and you know there is a conference, a Christian conference, and you have a hotel. You offer to accommodate all the men of God that are coming to minister, and you give them free services and make them comfortable before they come to minister. So that's why they also want to they want to position themselves economically and politically. They want to be in the places of power. They want to be in the places of influence. They want to be in those places so that in every place they are protected. Because them they don't get protection from God. So they, they believe in their ability to protect themselves mm -hmm. and they know they have no future after here so they have to make sure that they live comfortably here and of which they are not even living comfortably they, yes they are driving an suv but They're the paranoid. demon is eating them the paranoia also. and they don't want to see anybody happy those are the people who underpay their workers and overwork them and overwork them and if they see a worker trying to rest, they feel bad. Why are you resting? You're not supposed to rest. I'm paying you. That's the, that's the evil boss. <laughs> yeah. The evil boss. And they're paranoid too. They're constantly looking over their so shoulder. Because the Bible says, uh, uh, the wicked run when none pursue, but the righteous are bold as a lion. Yeah. And, and um, you know, so these gods that they're worshiping, moon day, sun day, Tiu's day, Woden's day, Thor's day. All of these gods require sacrifice. True. Every day and every god requires sacrifice on every day and every month and every year. On and on and on in exchange for their temporary positions of power in this world. And now they are deceived. And, the, and, and part of the foundation of that deception is is the solar system, the heliocentric model of the solar system. They believe in the gods. They believe in Mercury, in Jupiter, in Saturn. They believe in all of these gods. But the Bible is very clear. I'll show you. Let's look at a, a quick clip of how the sun actually rotates over the earth. The sun rotates over the earth in a circular motion. And the moon follows suit. And if you look at how the sun travels over the earth, you can see how the sun illuminates this portion of the earth and comes full circle. And now the Bible makes sense when, when the Bible says in Habakkuk chapter 3, verse 11, the sun and moon stood still in their habitation. At the light of thine arrows they went, and at the shining of thy glittering spear. So the sun and the moon are able to stand still because if, as you can see, they are traveling in a circular motion over the earth. The whole earth is flat. That's what the Bible teaches. 
Look at Joshua chapter 10, verse 12 and 13. Then spake Joshua to the Lord in the day when the Lord delivered up the Amorites before the children of Israel. And he said in the sight of Israel, Son, stand thou still upon Gibeon, and thou moon in the valley of Ajalon. So that means that the, that the sun had to stand still at a certain location called Gibeon, and the moon had to stand still in the valley of Ajalon. That, that's, that's not possible if the sun is bigger than the earth and at the center of the solar system. You see, so even the system, believing that the, that, that the solar system exists the way it does, that belief is a heliocentric, Luciferian belief system. And it is a system that it was created by the Pope Gregory, this Catholic Pope who believes that he is the vicar of Christ or the instead of Christ. He, be, he believes that he is the representative of Christ on the earth, that as far as heaven and earth are concerned, he is the Christ. So this person, this antichrist figure is the one who created this. And this is ongoing till this day. This is ongoing right now. And we showed you the symbolisms. We showed you the, the, the obelisk, how that is like the symbol of that private part of the sun god Ra. And you can see that same obelisk right there in the Vatican in St. Peter's Square. And yet Catholics are still arguing, saying, no, these, this is of God. That is of God? Is that really of God? Do they, do they really believe that that is of God? Or are they receiving benefits from the Catholic Church and they're scared to defect? Let me tell you, it is better to start from scratch in God than to be rich and have trouble therewith. And most, all of these religions outside of Christ, you are on a head-on collision course with the wrath of God. You're on a head-on collision course with the wrath of God. Now, that was, that, was, that was Joshua speaking to the sun, commanding the sun to stand still at Gibeon and the moon in the valley of Ajalon. If you look at this, this system of the, the sun traveling over the moon, you can see how it's possible then for the sun to stand still in a certain location and the moon to stand still in another location. Now, as far as NASA is concerned, Earth travels about 1.6 million miles, which is 2.6 million kilometers per day. That's what NASA is saying. If you look at the NASA logo, you can see that it's, it's, it is the tongue of a serpent. Serpent is deceptive. Uh -huh, the serpent is a deceiver. So, about 1.6 million miles, 2.6 million kilometers per day. That's 66,627 miles per hour. 666. Y'all better open your eyes. 107,226 kilometers. So the sun, the moon, and the galaxy are moving too. All of these things are zooming through space, according to NASA. Everything is moving at a ridiculous um, speed. Six, 66,627 miles per hour. That's 666 in there, right? That, that's like, come on now. You can't make this stuff up. Now, look at Zechariah chapter 1, verse 11. And they answered the angel of the Lord that stood among the myrtle trees and said, We have walked to and fro through the earth, and behold, all the earth sits still and is at rest. So the earth is not moving according to the Bible. The earth is at rest. In Psalms 96 verse 10, the Bible says, Say among the heathen that the Lord reigns, the world also shall be established, that it shall not be moved. That's Psalms 96 verse 10. There's, then there's 1 Chronicles chapter 16 verse 30. Fear before him all the earth. The world also shall be stable that it be not moved. The Bible goes on and on in this area. Psalms 93 verse 1. The Lord reigns. He is clothed with majesty. The Lord is clothed with strength wherewith he has girded himself. The world also is established that it cannot be moved. The earth does not move. It is perfectly still, it is perfectly flat, and is covered with a dome called the firmament. And above the firmament that covers the dome where the earth is completely flat, the, the dome, above the dome, there are waters. And that's why the Bible said, and God separated the waters that were above the firmament from the waters that are below the firmament. So now you can understand how the waters above the firmament can be separated from the waters that are below the firmament. 
And then you can understand when the Bible says during the days of Noah that God opened the windows of heaven. Yeah, so he opened windows in the firmament and waters above the firmament came down for the first time and the earth was flooded. You see, so this 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 thing is all over the Bible in Psalms 19 from verse one to verse six. Watch this. The heavens declare the glory of God and the firmament shows his handiwork day unto day utters speech and night unto night shows knowledge. There is no speech nor language where their voice is not heard. Their line is gone out through all the earth and their words to the end of the world. So we know that there is an end to this world. There is an end where the firmament comes down. Watch this. In them has he set a tabernacle for the sun. And so I'm saying the sun travels, it's under the firmament and it travels over the earth, illuminating different areas of the earth per time. So the Bible says, and their words to the, their, their line is gone out throughout all the earth. Their line is gone out through all the earth and their words to the end of the world. In them has he set a tabernacle for the sun, which is as a bridegroom coming out of his chamber and rejoices as a strong man to run a race. How is a race run? A race is run in a circular pattern. His going forth is from the end of the heaven and his circuit unto the ends of it. How does a circuit fun function? In a circular motion and his circuit into the, unto the ends of it. And there is nothing hid from the heat thereof. So you see how the sun travels over the earth and illuminates the earth. Now, if you have believed in a Luciferian heliocentric model of creation, then chances are your times and your seasons are programmed by the sun and by the moon you sleep when the when the moon when when the sun goes down you wake up when the sun comes up you find yourself being a slave and you think that these things are not connected directly to you you think that these things have no effect on your life meanwhile these things are programming your life you do you have no no idea how much astrology is programming your life you have no idea how much a heliocentric luciferian version of creation is uh, affecting the lives of human beings. And then you see a globe in front of some of these churches. You see a pastor standing in front of a globe preaching. Yet the Bible says that's not how the that's not creation. If that's the globe, then where is the firmament? If that's the if that's the globe, then where is the water above the firmament? Where is it? So you see, these are false teachers. And by knowing the word of God, how the word of God has explained creation, you're able to identify many false teachers or ignorant, naive teachers. You're able to identify people who have not read the Bible, yet you're standing in front of people to teach God's word, yet you mm. don't, you haven't read it yourself. You've not done research. So now you understand what Jesus was talking about concerning the blind leading the blind. True. And so if, if this knowledge is not revealed, then the powers of the heavens can influence your life. The principalities, the powers, the rulers of the darkness of this world that demand sacrifices every day and have been named after the days and have been named after the months and after the years are, are, are pulling on your life, are compelling your life. The, the gamma rays, the beta rays, the alpha rays are shining on your, on your face, darkening your understanding. Yeah. The lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes and the pride of life compelling you into a life of sin. Without Jesus, my God, you don't say, you don't stand a chance in this world. Without God, you cannot make it. And so they're sacrificing in these Masonic temples to these gods. And when I mentioned to you about Jabilon, you checked to see, like in the dictionary, the, 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 that, that meaning of Jabilon. Because I had not even checked. To me, I was just sharing with you what I saw. And I was amazed. I was like, wow. I've not even checked on to see, you know, if Jabilon is even in a dictionary, but it's there. And it's mm -hmm. it's talking, it's exposing again exactly the things that I've been talking about. Yes, actually, it's just, if, even if you, you, you just Google Jabilon, J-A-H-B-U-L-O-N, Jabilon. And it says, um, 
Zabilon is a word or a confection of three syllables that was used in the past in some rituals of certain parts of masonry. Some rituals. Mm -hmm. Me, I saw rituals, man. Mm -hmm. They are not some as the dictionary. The dictionary tries to, to tone it down. But a ritual that involves children, child sacrifice, child abuse, molestation, sodomizing the children and traumatizing them, but again dragging them to a point that even when you're, they are being traumatized, they are laughing. That is evil of the eye of the highest order. Those people are so wicked and they do it every month once in all their lodges. They do that and especially during Halloween. Halloween is the time when they are killing babies at a high rate. And I'm telling you, parents, you have to press. So what, is, what business does a Christian have with Halloween? I mean, you find Christians also putting on skeletons and they are also celebrating Halloween. Do you know how children are being sacrificed during that time? Many children die. Saints, we don't have to copy the things of the world. How can a Christian celebrate Halloween? It baffles my mind because the amount of rituals that take place during that time and as you participate in it, you're also, you're also declaring that you're part of it. You know, because anything that is out of the word of God, where in the Bible does God tell us to celebrate Halloween? Mm -hmm. Those are the cultures of this world. True story. Now, Werner von Braun. Now, this Ver Werner von Braun, he was a German. He was a German engineer who played a prominent role in all aspects of rocketry and space exploration, first in Germany and after World War II in the United States. So it's funny because these engineers came from Germany after World War II and they came to and received prominent positions in the U.S. government. <laughs> prominent positions. Now, when Werner von Braun died, his tombstone or his uh, the place where they buried him has a scripture. And that scripture is Psalms chapter 19 from verse 1. And that and you know what you know what it says? The heavens declare the glory of God and the firmament shows his handiwork. <laughs> so he this 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 guy who's talking who's uh, supposedly the head of NASA's space exploration he knew that the earth is covered with a firmament that is firm masses mm -hmm. they're deceiving masses and if you're watching screens if you have grown up in the heliocentric uh, version of of creation then even this conversation, everything in you is fighting against it because you've been brought up in it to believe that the earth is a globe and that it's moving. And that, I mean, even if you think for yourself, water does not behave that way in a convex. If you put water in a container, it, 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 it takes the shape of the container, all right? So at what point can water uh, surround a ball on the outside? And then supposedly that ball is spinning and that ball is spinning through space. And if space is a vacuum, then shouldn't it suck the water from the surface? So how is it possible? That, you know, you can't even reconcile some of the, the suggestions that they're making. And, and even if they know the truth, mm -hmm. they cannot say it because they have sworn an oath to Jabalon. Yes. And if you if you look at look at some of these, uh, the, the very astronauts that claimed that they walked on the moon, Buzz Aldrin, Lance Armstrong, if you look in the Masonic temple, you can see that these guys are stars in the Masonic temple. These guys are the, and these guys are senior Freemasons. They deceive the. They are deceiving the whole world. And now, this is why the Bible encourages us that you know, first of all, be born again, be washed in the blood of Jesus, uh, pray through until your life is led by the Holy Ghost and develop that lifestyle of prayer and priesthood and then start a business of your own and don't be afraid to start small you know and give lavishly to the poor because that's the system that's the financial system of the kingdom of god scripture says the king that faithfully judges the poor his throne shall be established forever proverbs 28 27 says he that gives to the poor shall not lack but he that hides his eyes shall have many a curse. Proverbs 28 verse 8 says, He that by usury and unjust gain 
increases his substance, he shall gather it for him that will pity the poor. So our businesses should be systems that are utilized to push the gospel and to care for the less fortunate. And those less fortunate people you are caring for, tell them about Jesus. You tell them that it is the Lord Jesus who's telling you to do these things. You are doing this. You are helping this person because Jesus told you to do so. You're feeding the hungry, clothing the naked, sheltering the homeless because Jesus told you to do so. And the Bible says that he that by usury and unjust gain, the Freemason, that 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 Rosicrucian, that uh, whatever Lions or Rotary Club member, whatever he's, whatever these occult people are using, he that by usury and unjust gain increases his substance. The Bible says he shall gather it for him that will pity the poor. So as we do our business, we are taking some of it straight to the poor. And Proverbs fourteen thirty one says, he that despises the poor reproaches his maker. But he that honors him has mercy on the poor. So you're honoring God when you give to the poor. Now you tell me, why aren't churches teaching this? There is a huge scandal and there are, there are some honest pastors that are out there who are simply under the influence of somebody else who they were looking up to. A lot of them are looking up to Kenneth Copeland. A lot of these pastors want private jets like Kenneth Copeland, like Bishop Oyedipo in Nigeria, they want private jets, two or three private jets of their own and call that the blessing of the Lord. Meanwhile, you're, you're, you've created a religious pyramid scheme and God never intended that. And they'll never teach you these things concerning the poor. In fact, they'll teach you that if you give to the poor, you're going to be poor too. <laughs> Proverbs 19, 17 says, He that has pity on the poor lendeth unto the Lord, and that which he has given will he pay him again. That's the only opportunity you have in the whole Bible to lend money to God. It's the only place where it says it. Now, why won't they teach this in the, in the, in the church? Yet, this is the word of God. So there's a major ongoing scandal and Satan is very skillful at mixing the holy with the profane. The That's mixture, why they like the checkered floor. The checkered floor, right? They mix the black and the white, the good and the evil, the, the righteous and the unrighteous. He, he wants to mix that. That's why you'll find uh, like last year during, uh, during the so-called Easter Sunday. I hate that word Easter. But Easter and Sunday, they they had there's a pastor that they had he had a concert in his church, people twerking on, on the platform. The mixture of the holy with the profane. You see? So Satan is skillful at doing that. Can the, I tell you one of the presidents that they they the Masonic uh really applaud for helping promote and support their cult? Mm -hmm. George Washington. He played, the first the first president of the United States. Yes, he played a very big role in empowering them and promoting them. So they they really play allegiance to him. They he's he's like the way you honor a man of God, a general. Mm -hmm. That is George Washington. You know, and and the capital city of the United States is named after, of course, George Washington. And it's called Washington D.C., which in Australia, is Australia. There is some place that is named after him. Which is Washington D.C., Washington District of Columbia. Columbia. The goddess Columbia. And if you look at the statue of uh, Washington, of George Washington, he's standing, and he's having. He has one hand up, and he has the other hand. No, he's sitting down on a on a on a on what looks like some kind of throne. And he has one hand up and he has one hand down. And the lower hand, he has a sword in his hand. And so one is pointing up, one is pointing down. And what is he saying in that symbol? He's saying, as above, so below. Or as the, the principalities and the powers and the rulers of the darkness of this world command above, That's, you do below. That man is almost worshipped. Mm. Uh, apart from Jablon, George Washington is next. Like he's he's almost worshipped by those people in the occult. So, and you know, George Washington had many slaves. He had many. He had very many slaves. A lot of people, a lot of Black Americans in the states are their name. Their last name is Washington. <laughs> so you see, the system of witchcraft, sorcery, Freemasonry, it results in slavery. 
without Christ, you are going to be a slave in this world. Temple, you see his his uh, portrait. It's there. They put him there. The generals. Mm. He's 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 the general. The people who really worked hard in establishing this cult, and and to make it spread, spread, and to also give them rights to perform their rituals and protect them and. You know, because their rituals are against humanity, their abominations. So just imagine how wicked that man is. See, that is that is the wickedness that this world is has covered this whole world's system. Because the, the men, the other rulers of the world are under him. The other rulers of the world that have been recruited into the Masonic. Remember, we don't vote. These things of you lining up is just a scam. You don't decide who comes into power. They decide who gets into power. Yeah. I usually say that you don't really have a candidate up there because you, you are presented between two or three options or four options, whatever the case may be. But the people who really have candidates are the financial institutions that have a stake, a huge stake in the economic policies that will come out with this new leader. So if you can sponsor a campaign and vote, then you have a candidate. But if you have not sponsored that campaign, what candidate do you really have? Did you sponsor his campaign? Did you put money in that campaign? No. Then what candidate do you really have? You are more like a an onlooker watching a boxing match. You have no say in who wins. <laughs> True story. And then they tell you, it's your right to vote now. Yes, they make you feel like you're participating in, in selecting a leader, but hey, they have already decided who's going to become president anyway. Amen. So, with those few words, you were talking about I'm sorry I had to cut you off earlier because um, talking you were talking about, about setting people free from Freemasonry. They've been yes. Their parents have been Masons. Their grandparents were Freemasons. Yes, this is what they have to do. You have to repent for the sins of your grandparents, especially now you're born again. You found out that your dad was in the Masonic cult. Remember when he was pledging the legions to Jabalon, he involved you. You were not there, but he covenanted you. So you have to put an end to it because if you don't close that door, you find that in the family there is cancer and it is moving from one one generation to another generation. There is affliction and there is premature death because he benefited from it. So the benefits that he gets can continue with you if he did not uh, violate uh, the, the terms and conditions given there. But again, even the the... The, the, the curses also have to come with it. Uh-huh. So now you have to totally disconnect yourself from that. You have to pray and uh, re- denounce all those covenants and cut yourself off that lineage, the caste lineage of sorcerers and put an end to it and say it ends with me. It will not continue to my children. You know, I am free and my children are free and you dedicate your children to God and you start declaring the word of God, you know. You start freeing yourself from that through prayer and also through meditation on the word of God. Secondly, if you have any object that belongs to them, don't, you have no business keeping it. That this was passed on to me from my grandfather now i have to keep it it keeps the family legacy no those masonic rings are the objects that the demons are using to have connections to you so get rid of those masonic swords get rid of those masonic uh, books because they also give them books that uh, teach them on how to make spells and send spells and how to use different gods in different and different areas of life so you you disconnect yourself by burning those items and by dismantling those swords and the rings and destroy them and you have nothing to do with it you know disconnect yourself from it totally cut yourself off if you are named after that person if you can change your name 
It's okay if you can't still you denounce any powers that are attached to that name and and just free yourself. You can free yourself through self deliverance, through prayer. It works. I've also had to denounce many covenants. I've also had to break free from all that. Even what I participated in, I say it ends with me. It's not going to follow my children. I pray and cancel all that in the mighty name of Jesus and I plead the blood of Jesus that was shed on the cross of Calvary to cleanse me from all that evil you know and as you do that you're setting yourself free from the enemy Amen. and if you've not given your life to Christ that's the first step do so you give your life to Jesus first and then now you deal with these other small things yes when when dealing with those generational curses perhaps your parents were or grandparents were in idolatry witchcraft whatsoever uh, the case may be Leviticus chapter 26 from verse 40 the Bible says if they shall confess their iniquity and the iniquity of their fathers with their trespass which they trespassed against me and that also they have walked contrary unto me and that I also have walked contrary unto them and have brought them into the land of their enemies if then their uncircumcised hearts be humbled and they then accept of the punishment of their iniquity then will I remember my covenant with Jacob and also my covenant with Isaac and also my covenant with Abraham will I remember and I will remember the land. All right. So you confess the iniquity and the iniquity of your fathers and their trespass, which they trespassed against God. You repent for those sins and for the covenants they entered into. You denounce and you renounce them. Be sure to denounce and renounce Jebulon. Be sure to denounce and renounce Saturn the, and and the Pluto and, and and all and yeah and the angel of death and all of those the names of those various gods. Denounce and renounce them. Repent that your ancestors or yourself ever entered into agreement with them, um, um, and also uh, pray that God may destroy the altars. Or disconnect you from the altars where they made those agreements because they did mm -hmm. abominations and they recited incantations over those altars denounce and renounce those altars those uh those rituals those incantations denounce renounce them pray that god would bind the familiar spirits that are sent to enforce the covenants that were made at those altars all right and you repent for the innocent souls that were Killed. that were slain, that were abused, that was everything, every demonic evil thing that was done to the innocents, to the, for the profound injustice that was done. All right, you must repent for those things and for the sins that your ancestors committed. Go back four, five, even twelve generations, and repent for those sins that they committed, and plead that God would disconnect you from those covenants. And those covenants are not easily broken like that. You fast and pray sometimes three or four days out of every week until all of those covenants are broken, until those cycles of infirmity, cycles of sickness, disease, cycles of poverty or misfortune are broken from your life. So it is a journey. It's not a one prayer, snap your finger, push to start type of situation. You will fast and you will pray to break those covenants, to bind the familiar spirits that are sent to enforce those covenants, renounce and denounce those covenants, repent for committing them and the sins of your ancestors. Ask God to purify your bloodline. Then commit to the Lord Jesus completely and fast and pray ongoing. This thing, this thing is ongoing. Three, three days out of every week, fast and pray concerning these things to break those covenants off of your life. Yes. Otherwise, the devil will have legal things. legal right. Mm -hmm. I had to get rid of some of the things that, actually, all, all the things that were given to me, I had to get rid of them. I had to ban them. I had to denounce. I had to pray. It, it took me three years to get fully delivered. But I, I will share my deliverance at the end of the documentaries. But uh, I, feel, I feel we should continue also exposing the entertainment and uh, mm -hmm. also signs and symbolism. And that's what we are going to do. So uh, we just need to let you know. And then also to encourage you to comment, like, share, subscribe. Tell us whatever you think about everything that, uh, that we say. And also to promote our movie. We want to make movies exposing the enemy. You can also uh, buy our hoodies and t-shirts. The information is there. In Kenya, you just contact the numbers on screen and make your order and we'll have them delivered to you. Amen. Amen. And so with those few words, 
I believe we can say a word of prayer. Yeah, to lead them to Christ. Yes. Amen. So if you have not received Christ or you're in a backslidden condition, we'd like to pray with you right now. You can repeat the words and um, rededicate your life to the Lord Jesus Christ. Be baptized quickly in water, full immersion in the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. And you begin to walk with the Lord, you'll be saved. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. I have heard your word. I've heard your word. I believe that Jesus Christ. I believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of the Most High God. Is the Son of the Most High God. That He died for my sin. And that He died for my sin. And that You raised Him up from the dead. And that You raised Him up from the dead. On the third day. On the third day. Wash and cleanse me of all unrighteousness. Wash and cleanse me of all unrighteousness. Write my name in the book of life. Write my name in the book of life. Make me a new creature. Make me a new creature. Let me be born of the Word. Let me be born of the Word. And let me be in the family of God. And let me be in the family of God. If my ancestors have sinned. If my ancestors have sinned. I repent. I repent. Going back even 12 generations. Going back even 12 generations. Blot out their transgressions. Blot out their transgressions. Where I am concerned. Where I am concerned. I repent for the injustice. I repent for the injustice. I repent for the idolatries. I repent for the idolatries. I repent for the incantations. I repent for the incantations. I repent for the rituals. I repent for the rituals. I repent for the mercilessness. Pain for the mercilessness of my ancestors, of my ancestors, and I disassociate myself, I disassociate myself from their works, from their works, from their philosophies, from their, philosophies, from their incantations, from their, incantations from, their covenants, from their covenants, from their sacrifices, from their, sacrifices, and from their altars. And from the altars. And I pray, and I pray that Jesus, that Jesus may be my advocate, may be my advocate in the court, in the court to disassociate, to me, disassociate me completely, completely from free. Masonry, from, Masonry, from the Rotary Club, from, the Rotary Club, from, Lions, from Lions, from Rosicrucianism, from, Rosicrucianism, from Je Jehovah's Witness, from, Jehovah's from Witness, Seventh Day Adventist, from, Seventh -day Adventist from, Mormonism, from Mormonism, from any cult born in America, any cult born in America or any cult born in UK any cult born in or any UK. Cult born in any place in the world. From any cult born in any place of the world. Please disassociate me from those covenants. Please disassociate me from those covenants. And from those altars. And from those altars. And please bind, and please bind the, familiar the familiar spirits that are sent to enforce those, altars, to enforce those altars and those covenants. Those covenants. And transform me completely. And transform me completely out of the kingdom of darkness. Out of the kingdom of darkness. Into the kingdom of your dear Son. Into the kingdom of your dear son, in whom I have redemption, in whom I have redemption through his blood, through his blood, even the forgiveness of sins. Even the forgiveness of sins. Please blot out the ordinances, Please blot out the ordinances that are written against my bloodline, written against my blood and against me. Again, against me. and that were written against my children and, that were written against my children. and sanctify me holy in Christ Jesus I pray these things by faith, by faith in Jesus Christ alone, in Jesus Christ alone. And, in his name I pray. and in his name I pray amen Amen. Amen and amen and amen. If you prayed that prayer, you're on the way to being set free yeah. completely. Mm. Amen. Amen. And for those who love to dwell on the on the Sabbath day, oh, should we rest on the Sabbath day? Listen, if you try to rely on your works, on your performance in the kingdom of God, you'll miss God. You need to keep the commandments of the Lord Jesus Christ and let your faith be in him. Remember, our faith is not in works. Our faith is not in our ability to keep his commandments, even though we do. But our faith is in the Lord Jesus Christ, to whom God has committed all judgment. And the power is in the Lord. He said, all power is given unto me. So your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ is what sets you free from the sting of sin and death. Now, you can decide to keep the Sabbath just as a day of remembering, just, just because you decided to do so. But you, if, you, if you're keeping the Sabbath and telling others that they didn't keep the Sabbath so they might go to hell because of not keeping the Sabbath, your faith is in your ability to keep the commandments. Your faith is clearly not in Christ. And there's a difference. There's a major difference. Let your faith be in the name of Jesus Christ and his saving ability. And that 
can set you free from the sting of sin and death, which is eternal separation from God. And then let the fear of the Lord be in you every day. Every day. We worship God every day. Why, why do you tell me uh, Saturday or, or actually Saturday is Saturn's day. So by the time you're even telling me we're supposed to worship God on Saturn's day, you are, that's a contradiction in terms. This is the day that the Lord has made. Every day is the day to worship the Lord not just the seventh day out of the week, all right? So we worship the Lord every day. Beware of cults, especially those cults that are born in America because they're so well-funded. They have massive followings, and if they, people feel like if they leave, they won't have the financial support. But better to start from scratch in God. We did it. You can do it too. Yeah, and then also our book is almost ready on covenants and altars. Wow. We're so excited. Glory to God. And if you've not read the other books, they're also available on our website, www.lifeisspiritual.com or on Amazon from Erica Part 1 to Erica Part 4 and the truth about money. So just Amen. be blessed as you read. Amen. God bless you all. We love you all. I'm Baba Zion. Erica Mukisaki Mani, a.k.a. Mama Maisha or Mami Zayo. This was the Erica Documentary Part 15. God bless. Mm-hmm.